River. Quick play the ball. Ballon, flat pass this time for Perry. Morris was there to stop him though. Still going, Perry. He's only about a half metre short when he plays it. Back to Ballon. Here's Orford. Looking for a kick once again. This time there'll be no mistake. And guess who? Brett Stewart is there to grab yet another try. He gets the first one here tonight. Manly are on the board. They lead the Tigers 4 0. And they have looked dangerous in their last couple of sets. In defence. He takes it down within eight of the Tigers line. Ballon at dummy half waiting for it as Perry on his outside shows it to him, goes to Warford instead. Another second man play. Brett Stewart, early ball for Robinson with his speed. He goes for the corner. A lovely play mate, by the Seagulls. The put down in the corner post, mate. Thank you. Early in the game, Robbie Farris slicing through the manly defence, had no one with him. They bombed a try when Tuiaki was throwing a poor pass from Benji Marshall. And on that one, Menzies got a ball from Cuthbertson. He came to Hodgson and he'll win the race to the corner. Another try for the Beaver. And it extends this lead for Manly. What a lovely ball by Cuthbertson. Yeah, there's Luke Williamson, obviously a leg injury. Coming off the bench tonight, he's been replaced by this man, Glenn Hall, who he took the place of midway through the first half. Ballon back on the inside, good tackle. Harrison on Glenn, on rather Glenn Stewart made the tackle. Here is Glenn Hall. Flat pass from dummy half. The Tigers came up quickly. And they score a try. Through the unlikely shape of Glenn Hall that blows the game open. 20 points to six. Across the line again tonight already. He scored four tries in their last four games. It's a shame it's all ending at the end of 2008, isn't it? Any any surprise from the man that scored a thousand tries anyway? Not really, but it's a shame we're losing him. It is. It Here's is. Cuthbertson. He's still got plenty to add. Now what, Mo? Standing in the tackle, they're beating defenders suddenly, worrying signs for the Tigers. Here's Matai going towards Hodgson, who picked him off one on one. But they're standing there offloading, they are breaking tackles. Here's Brett Stewart showing it, showing it, he'll go all the way himself. He got it down, the fullback gets his second try of the Knights. 87 now in his career. Working up towards the 40 metre line, Bryant popping a ball out the back, Orford linking up with Stewart, here we go again, Menzies is there, Stewart beats Hodgson, Menzies is looking, he gets the ball, go Beaver, go! What a run, what a catch, and what a try, some greats of Seagulls history, linking up once again, Stewart who will be a great the man who will have a grandstand named after him. Steve Beaver Menzies gets another one. Well, they're killing them with the offloads. Great ball from Matt Orford there. When you looked at the, at the table and, and the games coming up last year, they had the best of it. Now Orford kicking in behind them. Some pressure here on Ryan. It bounced away from him. He was knocked to the ground there by Williamson. It's play on the call. Good kick by Orford. Bell plays it. Here's Glenn Stewart at the 10 metre line. Gives it off to Glenn Hall looking for a double. He bounces away from the first defenders and gets across the line. Can you believe that? Two tries to Glenn Hall and they are just toying with them. 36 points to six. Looking for yet another try. Menzies is there stopped by Dane Laurie. Might have lost the ball. No, he didn't, they say. Back to the right-hand side, Orford. Marshall looking for an intercept. Stewart gives away to Stephen Bell, and they're in once again. They had the shot on the right-hand side, then the left-hand side. They came back to the right, and the points just keep ticking over for the Seagulls. 42 to 6. Gee, that was a good ball by Matty Orford. 73 minutes gone, 42 points to 12. Ballon... Again, a dummy half, showing it a couple of times, running a long way before he gives it off to Glenn Stewart. Back on the inside, the Tigers crack again. Inside balls are their nemesis. 
big men coming back on the angle with a bit of footwork. They always struggle against them. And again, it was pretty simple, wasn't it, Stuart? Well, that was certainly a night of mixed emotions for the two of us. For the Beaver, you had an absolute blinder. But for poor old Cougar, that was to be his final appearance in the maroon and white. Yeah, that was terrible luck, mate. Tearing a hamstring on the eve of the finals there. I felt sorry for you. Yeah, thanks, mate. But, uh, you know, that's just football, I suppose. And it gave me enough time to concentrate on organising your tribute dinner. And what a